and we're live. Welcome back to part 91 of Free Roam Fridays, where we free roam with Arthur in chapter 3. I thought we might go looking for some Carolina parakeets today. Arthur hates parakeets. Spoiler alert, we did not have the best of luck with that endeavor. The best laid plans of mice and parakeets, which would make a great video title, to paraphrase both Robert Burns and John Steinbeck. Let's get started. If you are new to this channel, greetings. I'm your friendly neighbor, Super Antonio, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. That video title may be a little obscure, given the regrettable state of modern education. Oh well, at any rate, we have to get ready. We will be passing through Panther Country. And there is a chest over here, under the house we know as Catfish Jackson. A little bit of cash and some supplies. It does not respawn. Perhaps post game, Marston can check. Yeah. Regrettably, no map. You should know where we are. Catfish Jackson. Let's move on. Watch out for Panthers, Morgan. No joy on Panthers. The Panthers are not very sociable today. Moving on. And then of course we have that rowboat in a tree, from a flood, the Great Flood of 1883. I just made that up. I wish that there was someone in Saint Denis who could talk about the last time the Lanahassee flooded, some NPC old timer. Perhaps there is, and we just haven't found him yet. It's possible. I'm optimistic. Awkward, that was embarrassing. Pretend that didn't happen, and let's go look for some parakeets. Yeah. 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 
Hey, girl, yeah. easy now. They are around here. They should fly up upon approach. They are on the ground somewhere. <laughs> no map and no need because those parakeets are nowhere to be found. <laughs> Move these gators out of the way. What was that? I can almost guarantee that was no parakeet. Arthur just wanted to shoot something. A little egret. I wonder if we can collect it. Stay out of the water, Morgan. There are gators. Never smile at a crocodile. To quote Peter Pan, that goes double for gators. Oh well, no worse for wear. Now what? Dying counts as a reload. I guess we can go back and check for more parakeets. Yeah. Easy, girl, you're okay. <laughs> Plenty of gator eggs and no parakeets. A sentence I never thought I would say aloud. I suppose we could do an exit reload or a save reload, however Arthur is getting bored with this situation. Perhaps we need to do more research. Let's put a pin in this for now, to quote Walter White. It is time to move on. Let's go see what the good people at Shady Bell are up to. And by good people, I mean jokers. We shall attempt a swamp approach. Arthur ain't afraid of no gators. We better tonic up. We may need it. Who are we kidding? We will absolutely need it. There's a little cache and a large jewelry bag at this crypt which will respawn if you're interested, and I know you are. Would that it were that easy 
in real life. Okay, sneak up here. Stealth mode activated. And there's the loot box over here, which also respawns. Clearing through the state of Lamont. Where is everyone? Arthur is lonely. Good afternoon, sir. Routine dynamite inspection. Can't wait to hear you beg. As long as we're here, we might as well blow up their dynamite stash. Arthur likes dynamite. Go around the back here towards the front. Doesn't seem too well guarded today. What's that about? Stop you at And that's the last one. I'll say this. Shady Bell is no hanging dog ranch. Might as well check these jokers for supplies. And Shady Bell is not open to us. Yet. <laughs> Miss Tilly loves this gazebo, or rather, she will. A great spot for morning coffee. And Arthur wants to shoot that bell. Also note the life-size target in blue. And what happened to our horse? Yep. 
What's next? <laughs> we might as well help this lady. We are in the hero business, after all. We got Good afternoon, sir. That's no way to treat a lady. Let's see how you like being tied up. Damn! Untie me! Pig dumb moron! And where did she go? This is awkward. What are we supposed to do with this joker? Uh, you don't mind, do you? Don't do this, you hear? Hellfire! You're coming with me! Good evening, citizen. Nothing to see here. Move along. Hey, partner! Hell! Hey there, mister! Yeah! Idiot. I wonder if we can use them to lure a panther. We should try. For science! Oh well, looks like we only succeeded in attracting law enforcement. Time to move on. Once again, Arthur has overstayed his welcome. It's always a little tense evading the law, even after all of these years. You and me, and this horse, on the trails. And it is a lovely moonlit night for a ride. Hey there! Okay. 
The next day, we returned to the location, searching for more parakeets. Easy, girl. You're okay. What time is it? I read somewhere that noon is the best time for those birds. No luck so far. We might as well investigate this fishing shack. I mean, as long as we're here. Cigarette card over here. President Alfred McAllister. Arthur, as well as this channel, has no time for politics. Looks like they're chopping up the catch of the day. I love the details in this game. I really wish we could interact with everything on these shelves. Also some frying pans. You know Arthur, he cannot resist a cast iron frying pan. He needs to shoot them. Arthur is compelled. No one knows why. Nothing in the nightstand of note. And is that a canteen over the bed? Really wish we could collect that. What's in this cabinet? Biscuits and some handcrafted wooden boxes. A nice view of the river and the city skyline. I wonder if the occupants realize how valuable their property is, or rather will be. Keep it in the family and build some generational wealth. And that, my friends, is a long nose gar. We might as well see if we can collect it. Mr. Pearson is quite fond of long nose gar. We do have a fishing pole. But let's try dynamite. Dynamite is always the solution. 
if we listen to Arthur. We cannot pick it up. Perhaps we can nudge it to the shore. The primary disadvantage to fishing without a pole. Watch out for gators, Morgan. And what did I just say? You would think Arthur would listen after all of these years together. No worse for wear. Let's see what that gator thinks about a dynamite sandwich. Lost some honor. Totally worth it. And what happened to our hat? We should do some weapon maintenance. I know that bothers some of you. Idiot. Idiot. A three star gator. Move along, please. And another abandoned train. We already returned a train in a previous Free Room Fridays. We'll let the insurance company take care of this one. And another swing by the old parakeet homestead. Yep. A badger is not a parakeet. Not even close, Morgan.
Yep. Let's try that again, shall we? One hundred percent certain that is no parakeet. Arthur just wanted to shoot something. Arthur and the piebald Tobiano Hungarian halfbred will take a moment to pose for the thumbnail and the Instagram. Link in the description along with links to the merch store, my second channel, and our Discord. Also, consider supporting the channel with a membership. Click the join button for as little as $1.99 a month, 6 cents a day, to get your name or channel name in custom end credits. And help keep the lights on at Team Super Antonio HQ in San Denis. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. Regrettably, I have been quite busy with work and life and have neglected this channel, for which I apologize. However, we are through the worst and things should start getting back to normal in the next couple of weeks. Also, I should mention that live streams on this channel are forthcoming. You know I love alliteration, so I will call them the Saturday Super Stream or the Sunday Super Stream, or perhaps both, if it goes well. On Fridays, we free roam. I'll see you in part 92. <laughs> Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Shut up! I'm just saying. About to say less. <laughs>